sorry about the wooden noise. I've uh, never really tried to do the talking on camera thing. I have a little bit of anxiety about that. Maybe with the more brightness I get, more comfortable on camera. So. Uh, I'm just out here with my puppy dog, Pearl. I'll do Pearl Cam once we get up here a little way and I'll let her run. But, um, basically I wanted to make this video to uh, kind of explain my intentions here. Um, there's a lot of people on YouTube that have inspired me to kind of start working again towards getting out of this depressive rut I've been in for a long time. Um, I'm not going to go into details or anything like that with y'all right now, but uh, for a few years I've kind of been stuck, and I think I'm ready to get out of that rut. So what I want to do here is I want to share a couple of things I do that helped me with my depression and with my anxiety and it's a good way to uh, kind of chill out and think about the things that are going on in your life and sometimes it's a good way to chill out and not think about the things that are going on in your life. Oh, and before I forget, I need to give a shout out to uh, Rod on the Road, Ramon Riddick. You can find him on Facebook. Don't be afraid to add him and talk to him. Subscribe to his channel. I know I'm probably going to have like 10 viewers on this video, but what the hell. Anyways, um, now that I got that little intro out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and set the harness up on Pearl. And I'm gonna let her go for a run and see what y'all think. Later. Alright, guys, Pearl Cam. We're gonna go for a little run. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. From up here, the world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors.
trying to give y'all a shot of my little fishing hole here. Um, this is one of the places I love to come and relax. Yeah, here it is. I know it's a wide angle camera, so you're not going to be able to see it very well. But I absolutely love it out here. anything underwater. Let me get this bad boy set up and get some bait on my hook and we'll see what happens. I got some Canadian night crawlers. Yes, they are extremely overpriced. I'm just using a small fishing pole here, a lightweight, with a snell hook, a very small snell hook. And right now, because I was fishing a, a lot more shallow pond earlier, so I had to uh, drop my line down a little. I want to 
do is give it about that's about 16 inches. I want to give it about a foot. Or not a foot, sorry, about two feet. If you want to see the size of the hook I'm using, it is a very, very small snell hook. And I've got three tiny weights on there. And all I'm going to do is use just a little chunk of worm. If you're squeamish, you might want to look away. Of taking it and kind of poking it through and wrapping it around like that because these perch man they there's some seeds they'll come up they'll take your worm right off the hook you won't even know nothing hit it but when you do it like this and you just leave the little tip of the hook out you can't even see that there's just a little point of the hook hanging out that'll make them hit it and as soon as they hit it you reel it a little bit, and they'll hit it again, and that's when you set it. There we go, we got one. Look at that. Hell, that's almost a fish nugget right there. There he goes. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that was a bluegill. Done. There we go. That's a good size bluegill. What y'all think? There he goes. He got my worm too.
rescue. I believe previously she was abused by her owner. Um, when I got her, her back, right hip had been broken and she was never taken to a vet for it. So pretty much the hip, or the thigh bone fused to her hip. And there's a very, very generous veterinarian down here who spent eight hours chipping calcium buildup, reshaping the bone, and putting her back together. And as you can see, she has full use of that leg now. Y'all, there are still good people left out there in the world. Granted, there's more bad than good, but that's where we gotta be smart. So, I'm going to leave you with this. Pearl and I are going to walk back to the house. And I'm going to let you watch her pretend to hunt. Later, guys. I just I wanted to give a shout out to my inspiration here for, for making these videos. Um, top of the list there is going to be Ramon Riddick. Just ride on the road, find his channel, subscribe to him. He's a great dude, all American. Um, I ain't got nothing bad to say or about to say about him. Um, second on that list is going to be Adventure Band Man. He uh, gave me a lot of tips, not personally, but through his channel, on how to maintain calm and find peace in nature, which I can't even stress how important that is. Um, I, there's more, but I just can't think of them off the top of my head right now. I know I missed miss a few, and I'm sorry. Um, but stick around, guys, because I'm going to have some more content coming up. I have a kayak. I definitely plan on going out on a bayou surfing, seeing if I can't catch a big old fish. 